In this video, we'll discover about habits, meaning, characteristics, and role. Habit can be explained to be the evidence of the practice of one's preferences. At times, we're motivated to do different activities by our habits, just as we're inspired to carry out several activities by our instincts. Habits are acquired by living organisms, and they can be found in both man and animal. Habits make us restless to have more taste of some past experience, and one can as well say that habit is the second nature of man. What exactly is a habit? Habit can be simply explained to be a regularly repeated behavior. Speaking of the behavior, it could be a lifestyle, a routine, or an action. Whatever you do usually and constantly without thinking about it, most times, is a habit. Habits do help us undertake necessary activities, like following the same routes every day, getting dressed for work, taking a shower, and brushing our teeth, because they're behaviors and rituals that we carry out spontaneously. Our unconscious habits help us to decide what to make for dinner, solve problems, or do other more complex tasks, because they help in freeing up enabling resources for our brain. Habits can be the ones that are bad for us, the good ones or the ones that have been part of our lives forever that we don't even notice, such as teeth brushing, and tying of shoelaces. We activate several habits every day and we all have habits. Characteristics of habit. There are four common characteristics of habits and they are uniformity, facility, interest, and independence of attention. Number one, uniformity. If you check your mode of walking, sleeping, talking, or how you do other activities, you'll realize that there's usually an underlying specific habit. This is simply because habits bring uniformity to our activities. Number two, facility. Habit tends to help us facilitate our performance of an activity. Imagine you started learning to play the guitar. You'll realize that it will become easier for you once you've been able to form the habit, despite the pain you had experienced while learning. Number three, interest. Interest is the primary core of habit. Let's still use the analogy of the guitar. Let's say the guitar training is a bit hard for you because you keep having sore fingers, but as soon as you're able to find your proper grip on it and form that habit of the correct finger placement, you'll begin to find it more interesting to play the guitar. Number four, independence of attention. There are several things that don't require any attention, but we still do them due to our habits. Why habits are key to our health. Your chances of maintaining a healthy lifestyle can be increased or decreased by the habits you cultivate. Habits are very essential to our health. If you want to promote longevity and increase the quality of your life, it's very important that you practice good and helpful habits, like exercising regularly and eating healthily. On the other hand, you can risk developing diabetes, obesity, or other chronic diseases when you cultivate bad habits like low activity levels, excessive fast food consumption, and increased consumption of sugary soft drinks. You can lower the risk of diseases such as cancer and diabetes, keep your blood sugars in range, and achieve proper weight with healthy habits. In fact, your health will be grateful to you if you exercise regularly, eat enough fresh foods, take plenty of fruits and vegetables with the healthy habits you maintain. Why you must develop good habits. Many at times are still struggling to understand why it's important to develop good habits. Forming good habits is very necessary, and here are five reasons why you should. Number one, habits are who you are. Habits ultimately become who you are because they grow to be a considerable part of your routine. Number two, you can change your habits. This is one of the beautiful things about habits. If you know you have some bad habits, you can always step up to change them. Although your worst habits may be harder to stop and it could be quite challenging to break your old habits, with single and consistent steps and actions, you can successfully change your bad habits. Number three, you can easily reach your goals with good habits. One of the things that draw most people back in life is bad habits. Do you still remember the saying that bad habits are like flat tires? Trust you do. Well, if you don't fix those flat tires, my dear, you'll remain where you are. Number four, habits set a foundation for life. You'll end up becoming a healthy person if you foster the act of eating vegetables often. You'll end up becoming a joyful person if you cultivate the habit of joyfully greeting your family. The tone of your life is set by the habits you develop because these habits get to become you. Choose to develop good habits and you'll realize that you're setting yourself up to live happily and healthily. Number five, habits can replace motivation. There are usually some days when we can be low on motivation. During those days, we might find it difficult to do what we should do, but at times, our habits tend to stand up for us and propel us to do what we need to do. Habits are what we do without having to think, and because they get to become our second nature, there's this unconscious push they give us to get up and do what we must do. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.